Last week, the hearts and pants of Marvel fans around the world swelled with joy with the news that the whole cast will return for the second season of Loki. But first, uh, this gentleman has a new limited series on Apple TV+, Plus. new episodes of The Essex Serpent with Claire Danes premiere Fridays. Please welcome Tom Hiddleston. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? It's amazing how lovely to be here in a live audience. It's lovely you. to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. How, how are you? I'm fine. And by the way, I just had a moment there when I was uh, thinking, oh, maybe he doesn't want to touch me when he comes out. <laughs> but you're okay? How, like, are you okay? I'm fine, yeah. I, I, honestly, it was very mild. It was like a mild cold. Have you been... Have you escaped the clutches I of haven't, this? I haven't. I know I haven't escaped. I, I had it, I'm, I'm afraid to say, over Christmas. Um, oh. But it was OK. I mean, I, I'm a, I should say, like, I know some people have had a really hard time. Yeah. Um, and I so relatively um, was all right. I kind of felt like I was uh, a gong or a bell. And I was just sort of vibrating with this sort of low level. Are you frequency. sure you weren't high? <laughs> yes. <no. laughs> I promise I, was, I promise I wasn't. <laughs> Just this weird sense of sort of humming with something. That's... What a poetic way to put it. I mean, really. Yeah. I don't know. I was what, just in bed I watching the Mets. I... Right, right. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad you, uh, you made it through, and I'm sorry you missed Christmas, which can be good sometimes. I mean, it depends on how much you like your family, I guess. I, we, I miss my... I miss... Because we'd cancelled the previous Christmas, so we missed them very much. But oh, we had yeah. A, we had a great New Year. Oh, well, so that's good. So it was good. negative, negative by... Uh, December the 30th, so New Year's Eve was fantastic. Because at that time, and maybe still, I have to be honest with you and tell you, it was a little bit, it was news to me that I wasn't like Superman coming out of the I know, first yeah. one. Um, yeah, at that time though, probably you were like, oh great, I just had it, I can't get it again. And now we learn, oh yeah, you can get a different, a different strain of it. Uh, a different variant. Yeah, and yeah, who yeah. would know more about variants uh, than you? <laughs> wow. It's so, it's so strange. It was so strange. When we, when we wrote Loki, I wondered, I thought, that's a really interesting word. You don't hear the word variant very often. <laughs> like, I hope, I hope the audience get it. And then, like, <laughs> cut, to, cut to a year later, like, I think they'll get it. Yeah. yeah now it's right below the. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so um, the whole cast, as we've learned, is returning, which yes. is nice. I would imagine that... Uh, yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's great, gr it's great, great to have great everybody band. back. Yeah. It also yes. gives us a little bit of an idea of what might what happen. What to expect. And also, you're moving the production from Atlanta to London. That's right. right. Yes. Was so. that something you said, like, OK, I've had enough of being in the United States. I would like to be <laughs> in London? I, th I think it was just an accident of scheduling. But I'm thrilled about it, yeah. Will they move the sets? Like, will they mail them to yep. London? They will. They, just they will. Put, yeah, put them on a, in a, I guess, I don't know how they move sets, pack them up and... <laughs> Put them on a cargo plane and yeah, or a boat or them. something, yeah, or a boat maybe, yeah. or maybe they'll just rebuild the whole thing. I don't know. Do you know, or are you just not worrying I about? Should that? know. I yeah. feel I should know. I'm not. I now feel like I'm letting you down that I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I think they're all there. No, you, they are all there. Okay. So when um, when Loki came out, uh, what was it? Last summer. Last summer, yeah. Did you have any sense of what a big deal? Because it's the most popular Marvel show on Disney Plus. It's hugely popular. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Because I was, I was like a, a Thor. You know, I love Thor. I love those comics when I was a kid. Yeah. I actually thought Loki was pronounced Loki because I never heard anyone say it. Why, why would you? I just read it and it, was like, it yeah. looked like Loki to me. But did you have the sense that it would be so popular? You know, it was really interesting because I was, I was, uh, we were still in in a lockdown in the UK. We were still kind of restricted, and I was making this other show, The Essex Serpent, and um, that was really. I kind of got a sense of it because every thir the show went out on a Wednesday night, and every Thursday morning, the crew would be kind of keenly uh, asking me questions, like, you know, I'd be getting mic'd up in, in the morning. He'd be like, "Okay, the TVA, are they the good guys?" <laughs> Or are they the bad guys? And I, I thought it was so unusual to be having these responses in real time. And there's a really um, brilliant young actor called Ryan Reffold who was playing my son in 
the Essex Serpent. And I think it took him a few weeks to get around the fact that I wasn't actually Loki <laughs> in his head, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, and every, 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 time, every week we had to have a full debrief about what had happened the night before, like, OK, right, because of Endgame, you picked up the cube and now you're in the TVA, I know who they are. I'm not sure if they're the good guys or not, but um, <laughs> look pretty tough and you're not really dead, but well, you are in the other timeline, but not in this timeline. So where does it go? And I was like, well, Ryan, I can't tell you. You'll have to just wait and see. Yeah, you can't tell. Do you have that with children where they'll be like, oh, ooh, he's a bad, he, he's, he was bad to Thor, where they react negatively to, towards seeing you? No, I've never had it, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I could, or if I have, I've blocked it out, yeah. <laughs> um, um, you yeah. sang a song on, uh, like, what I think it was like the third episode. Yes, I did. And it was in Asgardian, which is the native tongue yeah. of uh, Thor yes. and Loki. Yeah. And what which was... You're fluent in it, of course. Uh, very fluent. Well, yeah, if yeah. anyone would be fluent in it, it would probably be me, but I am not, actually. What Was that song written specifically for the yeah, show? It was, yeah, it was a written, written um, for the show um, uh, with Natalie Holt, our amazing composer, and it was actually in Norwegian, I think. Okay. Um, as a kind of nod to the fact that Loki is a Norse god, you know, the ancient people. And, and so the idea is Loki and Sylvia are on a train and they're going from A to B. And so Loki, of course, finds the dining car and um, Sylvia has a nap and Loki starts a party. And, and this song, I don't know, I'm sure you are aware of this, you know, it charted, it was on like the world music chart at number <laughs> eight, I think yeah. it hit. Amazing. It's, which is crazy. It's really unprecedented, yeah. Never, that's never happened, didn't see that coming. And it's funny because in Norway, they were probably like, oh yeah, he's singing a song. Like, he's, right. you know, yeah. like nothing well, I hope has in Norway, already. They, I hope that they weren't offended by the fact that I was butchering their native tongue. And Can you, do you speak Norwegian? I speak the words of that song. I see, just that yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's enough, I guess. You yeah. don't have to... And, do you, and you know what they mean, so you... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, how does it go? It's, it's, um, it's like... Men trana dan för det första när stanser när hon singer, hon singer, kom hjem. Kom hjem. Different vowel sounds. Men trana dan för det första när stanser i storm svarta fjäll ge vandriga lene over ispriga ta hjemme fram. Anyway, I could go on. That's now, is it? And um, you remember that. It goes, it's something like, um, it means something like, uh, uh, the, the, the trees they dance and the waterfalls stop when she sings, she sings come home. In the apple orchard stands a beautiful maiden uh, and she sings come home. It's sort of like an old folk song which Loki could turn into a drinking song. <laughs> Do you, think, um, do you think you will remember that song when you're, like, 80 maybe, years old? Maybe. I was probably... I was just so terrified. They gave it to me, like, four days before we did it. And um, I remember just singing it all the time, trying to remember it. You know, when you, you have to learn something very quickly? Well, you have to do that every day, probably, but... Um, <laughs> and you just kind of, like, get obsessed. I was so, I was so worried I was going to offend a, a whole right. nation of people. And, yes, yeah. and, and the people in the heavens as well, yeah. Right, exactly. Those are the ones you have to worry about. by a lightning bolt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. Uh, we're going to see a, a clip from the new show, uh, The Essex Serpent, starring Tom Hiddleston. We'll be right back. Where were you last night, Mrs. Seaborn? Well, at home, with friends. It was my birthday. My King Mary, as the devil did his word! Yeah. Yeah. Where was that? You were with us. Tell them. Look, this has nothing to do with Mrs. Seaborn, clearly. Oh, but I saw yeah. her son on the marsh. Oh, no. My son was with me all night. Will! See, she's lying! She's lying! She's lying. She's lying. She's lying. Witch. You brought the serpent here and you put a spell on him. Stop it. Enough! You did! She's a witch! We're back to Tom Hiddleston. That is the Essex Serpent which is on Apple TV Plus, and uh, I'll, I'll let you explain it, but uh, I watched the show, and it's uh, this scare... Well, oh, we think it's a snake um, that's eating people or some kind of right. serpent yes. in Essex. That's it. And, You're going, um, doing really well. Yeah, and, um, <laughs> and you play a priest, a vicar, that's if you right. will. That's right, yes. And uh, Claire Danes is not a witch, really, but... She's they, not, but they think they she They think she maybe. is a witch. So, yeah, there's this... It's set in 1893, late 19th century. Um, Claire Danes brilliantly plays um, 
a, a widow who's just got over the death of her husband, but it was a very abusive marriage. And that's not a spoiler, that's like in the first five minutes. And um, she's got a keen interest in the natural sciences and she goes to um, Essex, the easternmost east coast of England, uh, where there's been an earthquake and it's dislodged all these fossils. And Charles Darwin has literally just published the origin of the species. So like our understanding of life has completely changed. And, she meet, and in this community, they're very God-fearing and uh, faithful. And um, a teenage girl has gone missing, and they think that this ancient winged serpent uh, beneath the, the estuary, the black water, has come back to steal your children and haunt your dreams. Um, and it turns into a kind of a story about faith and, faith and science and, and where we look at to try and explain our meaning in our lives. And, you, know. you personally, like as far as unexplained phenomenon goes, uh, we just had a hearing about UFOs here. In, right. Do people, are people laughing at us in England for having a... Uh, I think there's probably a community who'd be curious about stuff. Yeah. I, I personally, about UFOs, I'm, I like to live in the skepticism, to live in the question. Uh -huh. Like, neither definitively on the side of... I'm, I'm open to it, but probably not. It's probably just in the imagination. Right. What about uh, Bigfoot? Do you guys have Bigfoot over there, or is that yeah, just yeah. our thing? We've got the Loch Ness Monster. Yeah, well, you got the yeah, Loch Ness Monster, monster right. right. We've got the Essex Serpent now. Like, Do you have a Chupacabra, a... or is that not? Uh, what's that? What's your what? The Chupacabra. Oh, you must learn about that. That's a Mexican <laughs> import, and sometimes oh, it okay, creeps okay. up, I, I, and it sucks the blood out of the... Uh... Okay. Yeah. Sounds pretty serious. Yeah, Chupacabras. Yeah. Oh, boy, I'm so excited I got to tell you about the Chupacabra. <laughs> okay. Because now you're going to hear about it all the time. All right, I will. I look out for it. And you speak Spanish, right? I mean, I mean badly. You like, spoke a little bit to Guillermo last time I you were here. What I said, but he was very sweet. He pretended to understand. Oh, that's what he. You uh, know what? He does that with yeah, me all the time know, I too. Can, I can order like <laughs> a cafe con leche, and I can do pretty well. Is there a Yeti? Uh, do you know the Yeti? I do know the Yeti. It's not quite the landscape for Yeti in the UK. Uh-huh. Um, well, we don't have a Yeti here, but we do have, uh, well, there's the Abominable Snowman, which is yeah, the Yeti, yeah. and Sasquatch, which is Bigfoot. Sure. And um, a ghost. What about ghosts? Yeah, sure. I'm open to ghosts, you know? <laughs> Une unexplained Well, you guys have presences. more ghosts over in England. There are a lot of old have. houses, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm open to that, definitely. More open to ghosts than UFOs. <laughs> I feel I'm on the rack here. You realize whatever yeah. you say, you're now going to hear about this forever. For the rest so, of my life, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I yes. think, I mean, I probably, it's all the imagination, right? I think so. I think it's that um, kind of like monsters under the bed mm -hmm. when you're a child. I it's think so. Really a monster under the bed, but there's your, ima your, your fear of something unknown under the bed. Now, UFOs I'm kind of on board with. I feel like there might yeah. be UFOs. But ghosts, I feel like if there were such a thing as ghosts, every hospital would be jam-packed with them. I, I, I guess that's so true. many people die there. I like that this is a really evidence-based theory. Well, you got to look at the evidence. You're like, you're really kind of like, oh my, you're really the detective <laughs> in this scenario. Um, but yeah, but I, I, I love this, the bottom of the ocean. They say that we've done less exploration at the bottom of the ocean than we have on the moon. Yeah, oh, wow, interesting, interesting? than we have on the moon. Yeah, so we know more about the moon than the absolute bottom of the ocean. Isn't that crazy? That is kind of crazy, but on the other crazy hand... Right. I, am, I am no scientist. <laughs> I am just somebody who learns lines and tries not to bump into the furniture for a living. Yeah. So I, I'm not a marine biologist. But you realize I don't with, know what I'm talking about. With that accent, we assume you know more than we do. <laughs> right? You know, we're like, well, he, he would know. <laughs> Yeah, it's interesting. I think we can't get to the deepest part of the ocean. That's right. We can't. There are, there are parts of the ocean we, that are so deep, we can't take the pressure, literally. Do you know Aquaman? <laughs> I do. Maybe <laughs> he's at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, yeah. We, well, yeah. You know, we're going to ask we him. I don't think him. Loki has any insight yeah, into yeah. this. Aquaman will know for sure. Yeah, Aquaman has met the Essex Serpent. <laughs> interesting, interesting crossover. Oh, yeah. By the way, that would be a huge, huge film. Yeah. Aquaman versus the Essex Serpent. <laughs> Somebody, yeah. yeah, I can. I'm... Well, it's very good to see you. Thank you for coming and literally risking your life to sit right across from me. <laughs> it's a uh, Tom time. Hiddleston, everybody. He's a, 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 a you. The Essex Serpent. New episodes are Fridays on Apple TV Plus. We'll be back with Darcy Carden.
Congratulations on making it to the end of a YouTube video. Why not celebrate by clicking the subscribe button? You earned it.